Well, our courts correspondent Deborah Naylor joins us now and viewers are warned the following report contains graphic evidence which some may find upsetting. Deborah, what can you tell us? Yes, Colette. Well, the Central Criminal Court heard within weeks of arriving at her foster home at the age of six, the girl disclosed a horrific and unimaginable account of what had happened to her. She would later tell specialist, specialist investigators of the abuse she suffered at the hands of her mother's partner and her mother and said it happened all the time. She also recalled one instance of being tied to a chair when the couple went to the pub. The court heard evidence suggest that after the girl was taken into care, uh, that her younger brother, who was then aged three and a half, that he was abused by his mother's partner. The woman, who was aged 40, and her former partner, aged 52, were convicted following a trial last year of offences of rape, sexual assault, sexual exploitation, false imprisonment and reckless endangerment of the children between 2012 and 2014. Sentencing them today, Mr Justice David Keane said these were deplorable crimes which had happened in the family home, a place which should have been one of safety for the children but was instead a place of pain and misery. Sentencing the man to 19 years in prison, he said that his crimes were at the highest level. Sentencing the woman to 14, the judge noted that she had a mild intellectual disability but he said that it was difficult to find the words to express the gross betrayal in terms of her involvement. The judge said he could not suspend any part of either sentence because neither defendant uh, accepted the jury's verdict and they had not shown any remorse.